Hi, today I have something a little different than my normal sim racing or flight sim or car stuff. Um, pretty much what I'd like to talk about is um, a mount for a tabletop telescope. I was able to find a um, Mead ETX60 telescope for only $30 off of Facebook Marketplace. Um, I just decided to get one because um, we live in a neighborhood that's called a dark skies neighborhood meaning that um, at night there are no street lights and that all in the whole neighborhood the houses are pretty well separated but no one uses um, porch lights or anything like that it's all sensor lights so it's really dark you get a great view of the night sky so i said hey let's you know look for a small telescope something that i can just kind of mess around with so anyway i found this mead etx60 it came out about year 2000 uh, I only ended up paying $30 for it, which was great. The thing, it, it works um, like it's brand new. The guy I bought it off of hardly ever used it. Um, I've seen them that supposedly they went anywhere from two to $400 um, when they were new. Um, I don't know if that's true or not, but it's nice because it's got what's called Auto Star. I'm not really going to um, review the telescope. You can find better, much better um, ETX scope reviews that I could do but basically what I what I wanted to show was when I bought it it's again it's a tabletop um, telescope which means that um, you, you just put it on a rock you put it on a table a picnic table wherever you can you set it on there well that's great if you have a flat spot you could do it but if not you typically have to put it on a uh, tripod well, the problem with this scope being so old is the Mead um, made three different um, tripods for it, the 882, 883, and 884. Well, um, everybody said the Mead 882 and 883 weren't very good um, tripods. So what I started doing was I was starting to look for just a... Um, a camera tripod well the problem is a lot of camera tripods even if they say they can support 15 pounds um, when you mount a camera um, the way a telescope is it really uh, doesn't handle that weight it moves around a lot it's kind of a hassle so what I did is I was looking for a way uh, I could just basically have a portable tabletop so I went to Walmart, I found this stool, it's a four-legged stool, a three-legged stool would be better because a tripod's easier to balance. But I found this four-legged stool, it came with a small uh, vinyl seating pad that I was able to pull off and what was kind of nice was it left a center hole as well as a few other holes and I was able to mount the telescope to it. Um, it was about $10, I found a folding chair that is the perfect height for when I'm sitting down and using the scope. That was another $10. So for about $20, what I ended up doing is I ended up buying a mount and you see it here. And what that does is it screws to the bottom of the telescope and then it has a single hole mount that you could put on a tripod. Well, again, I'm gonna to try to find a heavy duty tripod, but until I do, this tabletop works great for what, I, what I'm using it for because after I pulled the cushion off, there was a hole drilled already in the perfect, in the center. So I was able to just um, basically put this mount on, screw it to the bottom of the table. And then um, the mount also came with these eyepiece holders and the, the computer um, handheld device. What that computer device does is basically you punch in the date, the time, um, your location, and it will automatically take the telescope to a moon or a comet or a planet or a constellation. So you just punch it in and it says, boom, it'll take you right there. So anyway, it came with these eyepieces. The reason I'm sh uh, I wanted to do this is because um, somebody who's gonna spend you know $30 on a scope, you're not gonna spend $250 probably on a really nice um, heavy duty tripod. It's kind of unreasonable. And so um, as you can see what I did is I added a level I've got a small magnetic red flashlight. I actually put in a compass. It's got a clock on it and it's got a thermometer. I just, all this stuff I just picked up at Walmart in the automotive section for the most part, um, as far as that stuff goes. It's just kind of nice because you know it tells you which way you're pointing your um, telescope. 
And then I was looking for a hard case for it. And the problem was, I, for a case large enough to hold it, I was looking at Pelican, and a Pelican case is anywhere from $150 to $250. Uh, this Harbor Freight case, um, I think with the coupon, I think I ended up paying somewhere in the neighborhood of $30 for it. So, anyone who has an old ETX scope and you're wondering how you can mount it or whatever, um, I'll put a link on what you need and it's nice because as you can see when I lift it up it's it's solidly attached and as long as you can find a pretty level place to put it it works really well um, I'm fortunate my side yard is a field and I found a perfect place so what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna put some um, concrete down or some pavers and make it perfectly level but I do have leveling feet on this but so for probably $30 for all this stuff and $30 or so for the hard case, for it's an Apache hard case, um, can't beat it. It's a lot cheaper and easier to use. The nice thing is the stool, one button, it folds up. It's lightweight, you can carry everything. I'm gonna guess the camera, or I'm sorry, the scope probably weighs about six pounds. The chair is probably two pounds and maybe a pound or two for the um, for the stool that I'm using as a base. So easy to carry, easy to transport. I'll post a link and all the different stuff. Thanks.